Hi, in this video we will see how we can create the percentage labels on the y-axis of a ggplot. We'll be using the libraries called dplyr and ggplot2. In our first example, we would use the built-in dataset called mpg. So if I look at the mpg dataset, you would notice that we have number of manufacturers in the dataset and each row is being repeated. So the frequency is equal to the number of records which are there for each manufacturer. So let's create our first chart. I'll be using this syntax. And we are saying that we want to use the MPG dataset. And on the X axis, we have the manufacturer. And on the Y axis, we are using the after stat property. And we are saying count divided by sum of the count. And that makes it as a frequency. And we are using the Geom bar. And we are using the theme classic for the presentation. And the trick is to have a new library called library scales. And using that package, we can say scales double dot double dot percent. Now let's run this chart and see what happens. You can see that it's properly formatted as percentage. And what if I remove the scale Y continuous level percent? And if I run the chart, you would see that the values have changed back to the decimal values instead of the percentage format. Let's do another example where we have already given the frequency. For example, we already have the, the number of manufacturers given in the frequency table as this. We have manufacturers and N, which is the frequency of each car. So we have 18 Audis and 19 Chevrolets and so on. Now let's transform our data set DF by creating another column called percentage. And if you notice the original data set, we only have the manufacturers and N, which is the frequency. Now using that N, we can create another column called percentage. And this is what we get after running that script. Now let's create another script. In this case, we are saying that we are using the data set called DF, which has manufacturer, the frequency, and the percentage. And saying on the X axis, we want to have the manufacturer. On the Y axis, we have the percentage. And we are using the geom bar and saying stat equals identity. Now stat equals identity means that whatever is the value of y is being used to draw the, the geom bars. So that's what identity means in this case. I'm also using the fill equals orange to give it uh, the orange colors to the bars. And I'm using the theme clean and giving some titles, subtitles, etc. And then again using the scale y continuous, labels equals scales percent. And I'm deliberately using the scales percent to show that this command, the percent command is coming from the scales package. So if I run the whole script together, I get the properly formatted charts. And on the left hand side, you can see that the format of the, uh, the axis is percentage. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.